When do you go at red and stop at green? Watermelon! It's jaw time! With Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw! Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time. This is day four of Picnic Week, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a slice of watermelon. What would a picnic be without watermelon? So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, we're going to start this drawing with a long slanted line starting down lower on the left and we're going to slant up at a long angle to the right. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, that'll be the left side of our watermelon. We're going to make another, just a horizontal line here, one up here at the top. So we're making a slice, so this is a section that's been cut out. So we've got these two horizontal lines, and then once again we draw a parallelogram. We're gonna, this one is a longer one, and it slants to the right. Okay, next we're going to make the side of the watermelon, starting this corner right here. We make a gut line that curves down and back up to the right. Now you may have to go a couple times so you get a curve that you like. I've practice this some already so this is the curve that I have for this drawing and then next I'm going to make from this bottom edge a line that goes horizontal right here parallel with this one and I'm going to make a curve this line curve gets smaller it starts off wider and then it gets a little bit narrower as it goes down okay next I'm going to make another curve right in here. The, the watermelon of course has a rind on it. That's the part you don't eat on the outside and that's what we're drawing next. I'm going to curve this line. It's parallel with the other curved line. It goes the same width all the way around. and It has the same curve to it. Then we have to do the top edge where this line um, continues, where this rind continues. Right here where these two lines come together we're going to draw a horizontal line right here and then down same thing down here this is for the end of the rind okay now of course there's different kinds of watermelon some of it has seeds some of it doesn't this one I'm going to go ahead and put seeds in and they're like little raindrops and just kind of space them in put I don't know five six seven not a lot of them but just enough there to show that it has seeds um, the last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put this on a plate just like we did with our picture the other day when we did the sandwich. I just make an, an oval that wraps around the watermelon. And then to make it look more like a plate I might go ahead and add lines around the side like a, a paper plate would have. Okay, so that's our drawing for today. A watermelon. A slice of watermelon. Well now I'd like to take some time and show you a few picnic photographs from when I was a kid. Okay, in this picture, my brother, my mom, and I are at a picnic table at a park. Uh, this is when we're on vacation. A lot of times when we were traveling, we would stop and have a picnic lunch at a park or a roadside stop instead of going to a restaurant. My dad took that picture. In this picture, uh, we're sitting at, this is my brother and I and, and the, one of the neighbor children, and we're sitting at a picnic table in our backyard. A lot of times, mom would let us have picnic lunches out in the yard. Uh, during during the week. In this picture, our family is at a campground in, in Indiana and mom's taken this picture. So it's a picture of my brother and myself and my sister and my dad. And we're just enjoying a picnic lunch together, a picnic supper. And you can see that there's some watermelon on the table. And I hope that there's times that you and your family get to go out and have picnic lunch together because it can be a lot of fun. Now let's see how we can take the watermelon slice and add it to our big picture. Okay, here's what our big picture looks like so far. Here's the watermelon slice that we added today. And then the sandwich, of course, and picnic basket. Um, I went ahead and colored below the trees here, the tree trunks. And I've started to color the, the grass in the background and foreground as well. And then I've 
colored the uh, tablecloth. So I'm gradually bringing color across, you can see, as I, as I finish. Um, I was going to go ahead and put tomorrow's drawing right in here. You'll find out about that tomorrow. So I haven't colored that area yet. And then I'm going to finish up all the details on this side after that. So that's what our big picture looks like so far. Well, thank you for taking time to draw with me today. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.